Hello viewers, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's video, we are going to solve the logarithmic function log to the base of x of 3 plus log to the base of 3 of x equals to 2. As you may have noticed already, we have two different bases, x and 3. And to be able to solve this problem, we must have the equation in the same base. So we're going to choose whether to have the equation in base x or to have it in base 3. To be able to do that, we are going to use the law, and the law we are going to use is this, that log the base of A of a number B is equal to 1 over log to the base of B over number A. So that simply means, like in our case, that log to the base of x of 3 is the same as 1 over log to the base of 3 of x. So I want us to write the first part of the equation or of the function as 1 over log to the base of 3 of x. The second part will be maintained, so we'll have log to the base of 3 of x, and all that equals 2. Now we have our function to the base of 3. What we are going to do now is to let the number y be equal to log to the base of 3 of x. So for every entry where we have log to the base of 3 of x, we are going to replace it with y. And we can rewrite our function, therefore, into 1 over log to the base of 3 of x, which is y, plus log to the base of 3 of x, which is also y, and that is equal to 2. To be able to get rid of the fraction 1 over y, we can multiply every entry of this function by y. So we have to multiply 1 over y by y, and multiply y by y, multiply 2 by y. Of course, if we do that, y will cancel y. What is going to remain is 1 plus y times y is y squared. And on the other side of the function, now we have 2 times y, which is 2y. We can rearrange this uh, quadratic equation, you notice that we are ending up with a quadratic equation, by uh, subtracting 2y from either side of this function. So we're going to subtract 2y from the right-hand side of the equation and subtract 2y from the right-hand side of the equation. And what we are going to end up with is 1 plus y squared minus 2y is equal to, uh, of course, 2y uh, minus 2y will become 0. So we'll end up with 1 plus y squared minus 2y is equal to 0. Now this particular expression can be rearranged further into y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. 
you notice what we have done we have rewritten the expression to conform with the general equation of quadratic equations which is a y squared plus b y plus c is equal to zero our focus is still on our quadratic equation up there and we want to solve that quadratic equation for y and to be able to do that we can use the quadratic formula and the quadratic formula y is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. As you can see, by comparing the general equation of quadratic equations and our equation, our a is equal to 1. Our b is equal to negative 2 and our c is equal to 1. So we're going to have to replace uh, these values in the formula to be able to get the value of y. And therefore y will be equal to minus b, so that is minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared and that is minus 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 1 and everything is over 2 times a which is 1 we can simplify this into of course minus 1 times minus 2 should give us a positive 2 so we'll have a positive 2 there plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared that is negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 and that should give us a positive 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 all over 2 times 1 which is 2 and of course this can simplify into 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 is 0 all over 2 we can simplify this further into 2 plus or minus the square root of 0 is 0 all over 2. And we know that 2 plus 0 is 2 and 2 minus 0 is 2. So the numerator is going to remain 2 the denominator is going to be 2, and of course 2 over 2 is 1. So now we have the value of y as 1. But we were not looking for the value of y. At this point, we let y be equal to log to the base of 3 of x. Therefore, log to the base of 3 of x is equal to y. But now we know that y is equal to 1. And so logically we can say that log to the base of 3 of x is equal to 1. This is a logarithmic expression we can rewrite it into exponential form to be able to get the value of x. To be able to do that, we are going to 
take the base 3, raise it to the power of 1, and that should give us x. In other words, x is equal to 3 to the power of 1. And any number raised to power 1 is that number. Therefore, x is equal to 3.